What's going on everyone and welcome to Let's Try Sundays. Today I'm going to make the impossible even more impossible and try to set a world record for what is supposed to be an unbeatable challenge. This achievement involves starting in a very hard location, surviving for 24 days without building walls, cutting down trees, driving cars, and defeating the military on a very hard difficulty in the game Infection Free Zone. As of starting this video, I have not seen anyone attempt this, despite the game having tens of thousands of players. So basically, it's up to me to be the first YouTuber to set this record without using exploits and to prove that this challenge is not impossible. Now, if I don't manage to achieve this impossible challenge, it means that the challenge might truly be unbeatable. This task isn't just about proving my skills, but also about showing the gaming community that perseverance and strategy can overcome even the toughest obstacles. Failure would mean accepting that the game's difficulty might be insurmountable for most players, while success could inspire others to take on their own impossible challenges. So what is Infection Free Zone? It's a brand new zombie apocalypse early access game. This game isn't just any survival game though. It has a unique twist to it. Instead of scavenging a randomly generated world, you'd be playing on the real world map. This feature adds a fun and novel idea to the gameplay, making it even more immersible and challenging. But without any more wasting time, let's jump into the challenge guys. So here we are guys, in the main menu, the team does have a roadmap so you can actually take a look at some of the things that the team is currently working on. Um, you guys can pause and look at that, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start up a new game, Forest Park, Georgia. This is where we're gonna go. Um, and then what we wanna do, we wanna turn this little thing on over here that highlights playable tiles in the top right location. Now, as you can see, we have all these green areas. If you were supposed to click on one, like it starts us here, it would show over here that the difficulty level is medium. What we're doing, as I said, we're starting in a very hard difficulty. Um, right here is gonna be hard. And this orange color one right here, if we were to click off of it, you can see the different color. This one is going to be a very hard difficulty. This is where we're going to start. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead, continue. Now, when you do do this, it will say this region has only 451 buildings. For optimal experience, we recommend choosing regions with a thousand buildings or more. Are you sure you want to continue? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Now, it brings this up in the game customization. You can turn on the tutorial events or you can turn on the story events. I'm going to leave the story events on because we do want the military to come. And that's the only way I think that they would actually come if you have that on. Uh, but we are going to turn this difficulty here down to make it even. Our, oh, wait, we got to go up here. There we go. Not down. This side, the horde number turning that up makes it very hard. Now, these are the requirements of this challenge. We're starting in a very hard tile. We are starting with a very hard difficulty game customization. And then when we jump into the game, we are not allowed to cut down trees, drive cars, or build any walls for 24 days. Now, let's go ahead and let's start. Inside the game, guys, we need to go ahead and we need to pick an area where we can go and set up our HQ. Now, uh, you see right here, you have in the top left corner, it says select a building to customize as your HQ. This is the playable tiles that we get to play in. These are where we can scavenge, but you can also go on the outskirts, sending your team out on expeditions. Most of the time, you do want to set up somewhere close to where there's a lot of trees. So like this right here, or you can look around the map and try to find somewhere else. Like up here has a lot of trees, but the game will not allow you to select any of these buildings because it is too far away from the center tile. So you have to pick something that's in the middle right here. But because we can't cut down any trees anyways, we want to select something and we want buildings to be in a close proximity so we can use the buildings as a natural wall. We're going to select this building right here. You can click on the building or hover over the buildings and you'll see that they have different storage capacity. Like this one has 371. This one has 372. This building is extremely large and will be very hard to defend in the first days. We recommend choosing a smaller building. Are you sure you want to choose it as your HQ? Um, yes, this is making the game even more challenging. So let's throw something else in there. Why don't we? We're going to go ahead. Let's confirm it. We want to pause the game right away. This shows 
we have our building here and we're gonna get these little um transmissions that's coming in we don't really need to pay attention there's some of them that we do need to pay attention to because this is a story mode and some of them will lead to something else that that's uh currently happening in the game this is our first objective we'll get our objectives coming up in the top left corner over here or over in the left corner here we have to send the squad to find technical books we have to bring scientific materials back to the hq we do have our objectives here we have one objective right now that we're currently working on we can go ahead and click that off we have this banner this will take us back to the hq or you could just go ahead and press h and it will do that as well then we have a research panel these are all the researches that we can currently work on but we need scientific materials to be able to do research they, they will show you the cost down here in the uh, right section the bottom right section and then these are the different trees that we can go ahead and click through and all the researches that are currently available to us we do have our mood up here this is april 1st and then this is our current time this is our day and night cycle we can pause fast forward this is our food our ammo weapons fuel uh construction materials these are our current squads so depending on the size of your hq you can have a current max um, your current squad size so currently my squad size is up to six um these are all the people that i can hold right now down here in the bottom left we have the building menu you can click on it it'll show you the different things that you can build um like the house here is grayed out this you need to research to be able to get you have your farms your field shows you all the different buildings some of them are grayed out which means you can't build them until you get the research we have um fences and everything but we can't do that towers we can definitely build towers but we're not going to build any towers because we'd want to go straight for the fortified towers and then we have the other which is like a kindergarten because there are kids you have your weather station resource center med bay and an antenna that you can build we have our area where we could work you want people to either go out and gather metals wood uh wood or bricks i'm going to go ahead i'm going to select an area right here in this area right here we want them to go out and go and get some metal now these are your current citizens you can set your uh, amount of citizens that you want to go scavenge and you can show you all the members that you have in your squad so we have four children right now we have 34 total citizens four of them are children seven of them are homeless so we have 16 unemployed and then we have our builders farming guard scientist nurse uh factory worker food preparation and scavenger we have 10 people currently doing scavenging first thing that i want to do i want to go ahead and click on my hq it'll show you the resources that we have in here we have a total capacity of 372 so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and we're going to create some squads because we have extra guns i want to create at least three more squads and have four sets of people that we can work with now this squad is going to be able to they have a full set of gun you can the devs did come out with something where you can go ahead and pick up gear if you go to and scavenge out you can find gear for your survivors now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead i'm going to select these two guys and then we're going to send them all the way down here to go ahead and scope out this school there's a granger right here go scope out this school to find resources or go that to complete the objective that we're currently working on then we're going to come back up and we have these two guys we have all these buildings here we have our food and stuff up here that we have to keep an eye on remember we can't make farms we can't do anything so we're gonna go and we're gonna send these guys out you can click a building or you can shift click to go ahead and highlight multiple different ones now i am going to do it this way because it makes things a little bit faster for myself i don't know if we'll be able to get all of this done before nighttime but we are going to try now we're going to go ahead we're going to hit play this video might be a little bit longer than our one hour video we still have four people that we can use you know what i don't have uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create one one more squad and we're gonna go and send them with this group because we want to do scavenging as fast as possible just to make sure that we're staying up with our food in the first couple of days you do want to kind of keep a close eye on things that's happening there's random things that might just go on but these are the guys that you i do want to keep my cl a close eye on because we want to make sure that they make it safely down to this section oh hold on let's pause it up we have something going on down on this side i think they have made it down to the building they have now they're on the inside here we're gonna go ahead we're just gonna have them go through and they're gonna take these guys out we'll let everything run we did get one person that got um injured that's okay that's fine 
we'll leave them down there so that they can do what they're doing it's nighttime so at nighttime we have to be very very careful now i don't know why they're all split up you're over there doing something by yourself this guy is over here eventually when these guys are done they'll come and they'll help them out and you know it'll just help things oh maybe i didn't select that building before <laughs> oh yeah i probably messed up but that's okay he can stay there and he could do that and the rest of these guys oh these guys are coming back up which is which is real good are we done scavenging here we are so we have a few books you guys are coming back because we want to make sure that everyone gets back and then we can send them out to go um other places i'm going to tell him to come back to the hq as well everyone comes back we're not going to send anyone out by themselves because we do want to make sure that we survive for the 24 days and we are going to need every single person that we can get we just brought back the research material we have an incoming transmission and we need to build or do the research to be able to get that okay that's perfectly fine so we have to go ahead and set up a research center let's slow the game down just a little bit because now actually let's pause now i want to grab these two we're going to zoom out we do have a car that's right here but um we're not going to worry about it because we can't drive cars anyways so we'll just leave it there um if you come out and you look at the map you have these little icons these little icons are showing you that these are police stations and we can actually go to the police stations and search for anything. And this map looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six police stations. We have some food locations. And I think these are barns, if I'm not mistaken, warehouses. So we have some warehouses that are here. Hopefully we can find a decent amount of food. We have some other research material down here. And then we have fuel. Everything else, we don't know what's in there. So we have to scavenge to kind of see what's there. Now, these two guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send them all the way down here so that they can go ahead and start searching this police station. Hopefully, we can find an assault rifle and that will help us out. All right. We're getting a transmission coming in. Again, you guys can read these. This just keeps us on our toes. Um, let's prepare. We'll do that. These guys could continue doing what they're doing. We can go ahead and we can start fast forwarding. We just need to make sure that we keep an eye on these guys. That's why we sent them out. We have, you see, now we ticked up. We have one additional worker. That is perfectly fine. We need to get a building and turn that building into our research center, which is going to be this building right here. So we come over. We can now build the research center because, because we brought back the research materials. We want to select. So you see when you drag it across the building, like right here, it'll adapt the building, but it's only going to adapt this portion of it. You want to make sure that you're adapting the whole entire building. So I'm going to drag it off the side over here just to make sure that we get everything. It's going to cost us 49 wood and 69 um, metal bars. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. We are definitely out of resources, so we're going to pause and we're going to look and see what we're out of. We currently do not have enough um, metal bars to be able to do this. That's why we are gathering all the metal out here. And we will leave these guys to continue doing what they're doing. So what I'm going to say is this building here, we're going to set this for deconstruction. And this one, we're going to set for deconstruction as well. These get highlighted. As you can see, we highlighted this. It's now marked for them to turn this building into a research center. They'll, they'll take the resources from the HQ, bring it over to the research center, and then it will continue getting built. Let's continue um, moving on the game. We want to deconstruct these. So what I'm going to do is because we're going to need more resources, this is finished. Now, as you can see, we're limited on the amount of space that we have, and we don't want to wait until this starts getting filled up because we want to start expanding as fast as possible. These guys are going to continue doing what they're doing. Um, the game is not going to hold your hand and tell you what you need to build. It, it's going to follow the story, but you need to go ahead and select your things to make sure that you're getting everything that you want. This is going to cost us 122 wood to be able to get a warehouse. I'm going to select that as a warehouse and we're going to leave everything else to be what it is. So the more people you put on a project, the faster to get done. Same way, the same thing for scavenging. Now we could go ahead and take on this squad. I don't want them to be to get discovered, but this might be a chance. We only have two people that have guns here. These guys are a lot faster than us, but this is the first horde that's moving around. We'll keep an eye on them just to see what's happening. And we will come down here. So I wasn't even paying attention to these guys. 
and see what we have going on here. Just finding some ammo. Dang. We're so unlucky this time. We didn't find any weapons for this one. It's unfortunate. Let's head back up. We're keeping an eye on this horde that's moving. Sorry about, sorry about the zoom, guys. Yeah, all we found were some ammo. That is very unfortunate for us. Now we're going to head over to this building. Hopefully we don't run into anything. We have to keep an eye. Whenever you hear them say they found a horde, we have to keep an eye out for them. All right. So we know that this horde was over here moving around. That's okay. We don't have to take on any combat right now if we don't need to. We just need to pay attention to where any of the hordes are popping up. Oh, there they go. They're seeing them again. That's okay. We're up to now 59 food, which is okay. Um, now I need to go further and further away. Uh, we know that that horde is over there. We're going to come to these smaller buildings. And we're going to select these. And we're going to start clearing these buildings out. Search done. All right. These guys are done and they're coming back, which is good for us. It means that they found some extra stuff. And oh, thank God. Yes, we found some gear and we did find an AK which is very, very good. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop that AK here. We have a bunch of ammo down here, and I do want to allow them to go back to the base, drop this off, come back, grab the ammo. I do want to go over here, but I want to make sure that we're not wasting. Ah, oh, man, does, is, would it be better just to send them over there right now? I think it would. Um, I think it would just for them to do the scavenging. And then if we find weapons, the ammo can stay here. We know where it is. And we can always resend a group out to go and grab it. Let's go over here. We have the AK now, so we can now do that. All right. So things are starting to pick up and it's only day three. Okay. So we need to make sure that we are watching what's happening and keeping an eye to make sure that those guys, these two guys, squad one and squad two down there, they don't run into any issues. We do want to knock these out as fast as possible. Hopefully we can, we can find another gun. We're getting another... Ooh, okay. This is an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. That's an issue. All right. So we need to treat these guys as hostile. Let's pause. Treat them as hostile. We did just send away our squad that actually has the extra guns to go somewhere else. So we're going to have to deal with these guys. This is going to give us some more guns. There are three of them, and we might get three guns out of this. But we need to play this smart. Um, you, what I'm going to tell you to do is... All right, these two. I'm going to tell you to uh, hopefully get into this building. Or one of you to get into the building. The one that's shooting. And then you can be bait. And we'll do it like this. Hopefully, they'll continue to move towards them. I'm going to tell you to stay right here. Just so that you don't come over and get shot. Because these guys with guns will probably kill us. There we go. We want to wait. We're going to move you over here and try to move them away just so they don't get shot. All right. They're going to come over to where we have our base. Our guys are going to start shooting them. We'll move them on the inside. Hopefully they don't go in. One of them is already dead. There we go. They're trying to go around. Boom. Two of them are dead. Absolutely amazing. We got two guns, which is perfectly fine. Now, what we could do is we have three guns here and we don't have any guns here. The more firepower we have with the different squads, I think the better off we're going to be. So we're going to send this squad out and then we're going to send you over here to go and meet up. Oh, God dang it. They picked up the gun. Ah, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You guys have one gun. We can always switch stuff around with them. All we have is ammo. There's something else there, but it's unknown. <gasps> yeah, we got a shotgun. Let's go. We got a shotgun. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's speed this up. I was, I was hoping we get another assault rifle, which would have been phenomenal, but I will take another shotgun. It is now. All right, that's it. Now they're going to go back. We'll continue to fast forward and hopefully um, we'll bring you back and something exciting happens. <laughs> it, it shouldn't be too long before something exciting happens. Let's speed it up a little bit more. All right, so here we go, guys. It's now nighttime. And as you can see, it's a bright night, which means that the zombies won't come out now so we can just continue to do all the scavenging that we need to do um, i'm gonna wait for these guys to come back actually i'm gonna click on them right now and then i don't know where that horde that was over here where they went so we just want to be careful in any building that we're going in we're going to select those 
and then we're gonna send these guys back down here to go and pick up whatever else we got we got the shotgun and we got 11 set of ammo so they do have different cycles so you click on the weather you can see we don't have a weather station we'll build a weather station it'll tell us what we'll see for the next couple days going forward all right um for now we have a bright night we don't know what july is going to going to be like for us so we'll just continue pushing through uh we now have two people that's free the scavenging here is almost done we only have uh literally eight more to do and then we will be finished with this i'll probably send them up here to this one hopefully we can find one more assault rifle if we can find one more assault rifle that would be absolutely amazing two teams with assault rifles would be really good and it would extend our range we can give it to this group over here to hopefully increase our firepower okay hold on these guys are coming back do you guys find anything I don't think they found any. <gasps> yes, they did. Yes, they did. They found more ammo. They found another AK. They found another shotgun. Absolutely amazing. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Now we want to make sure that we can get these guys over to grab everything. It's about to be night four. Um, We might have an attack here. Since these guys are out, I'm probably going to leave these guys at home because it's getting pretty late. And I don't think that they're going to make it back in time did they pick everything up yes they did yes they did they did pick everything up you're gonna go over there you're gonna grab the rest of that and then you're gonna head straight back to the base yep come back to base or i might send them over to go grab the other stuff hold on did we get any any more riot gear no we didn't all right so that's now done we have four people here we're gonna increase this to the max so we can get the research center done might not get it all finished all right, that's fine. Nope, 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 nope. Don't leave. We don't have anyone here, so we want to leave you guys at the base. Now, you can also move these guys to different locations in your HQ, in the buildings, and they'll defend that specific area. It makes it a little bit better when you are actually um, fighting. Now, are you full? Yes, you are. Are you full? Yes, you are. And you are not full. You only have one spot, but I don't want to send you over there by yourself so right now everyone can make it back to the base come back to the base i'll ship you guys out in a minute doesn't make sense that we move anyone over anywhere i just want to make sure that we have some people at base just in case oh hold on oh okay <laughs> wow this is going to be ridiculous hopefully they just attacked this building and not this one um we'll see what we could do oh these guys are coming uh we don't have anyone on that back side and this is five groups i mean four groups this is really that's crazy already this is crazy now you might be able to deal with this squad this um group that's right here but you probably need to go over here let's go yeah they're going directly for this one now these guys they have the ak so hopefully we'll be able to um to get rid of these guys if we come out here put you actually if we go outside they're gonna come towards us um we want to we want to make sure that we go back in we don't want to risk it them getting too close come on oh come on stay out stay out here okay there they come all the hordes are coming for us we're gonna send them back inside Come on, you guys are probably going to have to move right here. Yep, they're going to attack that building. Uh, we don't have a lot of resources, so I don't want them to actually damage that building, to be honest. Uh, come over here, and hopefully you'll be able to shoot this side as well. I'm going to move you there. Go, 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 go. Hopefully we can kill these guys before they damage this building too much. The HQ has a lot of HP. But with this many groups attacking it, you can't reach. Come on, go. Reach them. Take them out. There we go. Okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to knock these guys out. Oh, wow. This is dropping really, really quick. Okay. This is dropping way too quick. We got we to gotta get out here. We got to get out here. We got to have them stop attacking the HQ. It's dropping too quickly. So, we just have to hope that these guys go down. They will. This guy will start taking out these groups. Oh, come on. Click on this. Move. Move. Move, 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 move. 
Move. All right, good. We will continue. You will go in right here. Where are you going to go? They're going to start attacking here again. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on, don't go over there. We don't want you going over there. Oh, they're outside. Come on, guys. Oh, this is about to go. Oh, we're down to 5,000 with that. That's not good. All right. Stop them just for a little bit. These guys will be able to start taking out some more of those groups. That's one group down. All right. Now you can come here. Now, it's a little bit of a micromanagement, guys, but we have to be careful. We don't want things to happen. There we go. Woo. Oh, my gosh. The HQ went down from 9,000 to 5,000. This was almost destroyed. It's at 756, which means it's good because we don't have to repair it. It's going to um, level up once everything is done. These guys are pretty far away. If we had them at home, it probably would have been a little bit easier to defend. But there you go. Night five. And we're already getting attacked by four hordes. Not not good. <laughs> not good. It just shows you the type of stuff. Oh, there's a group right there. Hopefully they don't spot us because these guys do walk a lot faster than we do. All right. You know what? I might. No, 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 no. Don't pull them because it's going to be an issue. You can go in here, though, just in case. All right. They're going about their business. It doesn't matter. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, OK. This means we get more guns. That's OK. It means we get more guns, but it also means we don't have anywhere where we can really go in and do anything. OK, they're coming towards us. Um, can I grab you two? send you in here? You can move back this way. Hopefully they'll finish scavenging that building first. Go this way. Finish scavenging it this way. All right. All right, bro. You guys need to stay inside here. Stay in right here, please. Come on. Make it down here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. All right. Both of them are dead. What did we find? Just ammo. Operator. Ammo and another AK. Let's go. All right. There we go. We could go ahead. We could drop this in here. So now we have three AKs, which is good. This is very good. We're going to send them over here so they could scavenge that one as well. Okay. That is really building adapted. Right. building adapted. We now have our research building up and running. Uh, there's a piece that's not covered right there, but that's okay. Um, now we can go over here and we could start selecting our stuff. We'll... Whenever you select a research, basic antenna, you hit start, it uses one of our uh, research materials. That's okay. We'll have that going. If we had a vehicle, it this would have been already been done. We probably would have scavenged the majority of the map already to be able to move around like that. No more to find. All right, this is done. What did we find? Okay, we didn't find another AK, but I am happy. We got three AKs out of this, but we have some more shotguns and stuff up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna say, hey, you guys can turn this into a shelter. This building right here. We're just gonna try to highlight all of it. There we go. That can be a shelter. But we wanna get this warehouse finished first. Let's grab the antenna. It's gonna be down here. Grab it. And we're gonna put the antenna like right here. Right here in the middle. This is top priority. So I'm gonna say, hey, pull you off of here. And you are gonna go this side. We're also gonna pull more people off of this and set the max. Now, people are also a thing that we have to keep an eye on. We don't want to have too many people to be able to do this challenge because food is going to start getting really, really scarce really, really quickly. Incoming transmission. Ooh, Chief, hold up. This place, but there is something odd about it. Oh, someone must have been here recently. Get out <laughs> Drop your weapon. Oh, my God, guys, they got two of our squads in here. That's not good. Uh, what's going on? So basically what's happening here, they're getting kidnapped by some uh, raiders. So you have to be careful, guys, because some of these, yes, we'll accept the deal. All right, we'll accept the deal. I'm going to go ahead. You're good. You, once these, oh, these guys are so far away. And you can see, guys, we do level up after a time. So she's a, shop, she's a uh, shoplifter. Both of them are shoplifters. So they'll, um, once they're doing their scavenging, they will get a boost. You can see 20% uh, scavenging speed. So we have three groups. That's right here. And that's like the bad thing about sending them by themselves over here. Um, we're not bringing them any food. <laughs> we're not going to bring them any food. We're going to send our group down here. 
And then, oh, wait, 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 wait. You can come back here real quick. And then we want to say switch with the warehouse. And we're going to give these guys a assault rifle. So we have to wait for Bravo to get here. And then we'll select all of you. And we'll send them in. Incoming transmission. All right. Hey. Operator. <laughs> um, we'll be there. We'll send our men soon. All right. Incoming transmission. We're already there. So, yeah. Release them, guys. Okay. We're going to fight. Enough talking. There we go. We cleared them out. So, we got all of our squads back. We just need to make sure everyone is good. Let's just take a look. No one got injured, and we picked up two more AKs, it seemed. Perfect. I can throw that there. That's fine. You can have your pistol. That's perfectly fine. Oop. They claim to be attacked by um, some armored men and escaped afterwards. Okay. We're going to ask, where is it? Um, okay. They told us where. It's up here in this little section. Okay, cool. We'll accept. Send them in. And we'll send them up to where we are. So we get another four people. They're a bit injured, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll need as more people as we go. We're now up to 33 people. We're getting another transmission in. We finished the antenna, which is very good. Okay. There we go. Let's start broadcasting. All right. So we can now go ahead and we can broadcast. So we could push the talk, the little antenna thing down here. And we can go ahead and we can invite another group of survivors to come in which will help us now. Now, our maximum amount of people that I think we're gonna hold for this, it might be 50 or 60 people. So right away we get a response. How many? Um, how many of you? There are five. Okay, we're just gonna invite them right away. Now, I'm just gonna have these guys do a little bit more scavenging because we need to get the warehouse and stuff done. Um, hopefully we can get all of this done in time. We'll send you guys out. We need, we do need to increase the amount of squads that we have. So I need to increase this up. Um, if we can get more people or get more weapons. Ammo is looking really healthy, but food was declining down. We're now down to 43 food. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We might be getting attacked here. Move you guys up here. Where is it? Is there a group? Oh, they came in. Wow, they came in and broke it. <laughs> Why did they come inside the building? Interesting. Okay, so now we have to uh, redo the building. That's okay. Okay, we're at day eight. Everything looks good. Um, How are we looking on this side? Because these two are our strongest groups, Um, I do want, to, I really do want to go up here and clear this mission out. It's 12 p.m., so I have to wait until the next day. Um, same thing with that one. We're going to have to wait until the next day anyways. Now, we're going to bring these guys back because in the morning, I think we're going to send our guys up here. So we have five groups. We should be okay. I think we should be okay. All right. Incoming transmission. All right. We found the Raiders hideout. Okay. Um, more info. How many? Of course, they're armed. Pistols, a few rifles. Their activity. We'll just find out everything about them. All right, enough info. Um. You need more gun. Wait for backup. All right. So we need to send three squads near the target. We have five. That's okay. We're gonna move. I don't want to go too close, just in case if it kicks it off. Let's head inside. Let's go do it. Let's go. All right. Very good. Took him out. Um, did we get damaged? We have to <laughs> check the squads. You guys are good. We got another assault rifle, which is very good. Um, you almost died. Wow. Good thing you survived. Ah, uh, two more. So three more assault rifles. Very good. Okay. Three more assault rifles we just picked up which is really, really good. Incoming transmission. Yep, we need more people. We're gonna accept them. All right, guys, so right now we're doing really, really well. We're doing really well. 
Um, if you guys do want to see a series on this, you guys know what to do. Go ahead, like the video, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know that you guys want to see a series on it. Um, there's more things that we can do with this if you guys want to see. But we'll let this run. I do want to make sure that we're kidding out all of our squads. This squad that only has, that doesn't have any assault rifles, we're going to give him it because the more range that we have, the better off we'll be. Even if we just give, even if we just, oh, hold up. Wow. Where did you come from? Homie, where did you come from? Oh, you guys can shoot from over there? All right. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the thing now with the way that this is set up. They can just, they have to be in like a specific area to be able to be in range to be able to take some people out. All right. So, wow. It's a good. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That right there, guys, that's a swarm sound. That's not good. So whenever you hear that sound and right on cue. Yep. Um, get ready. So there's a swarm coming. They might be able to get here tonight because it's still pretty early. So what we're going to do is we are definitely going to give everyone some assault right. You have gear. So I'm just going to give the ones that don't have gear more weapons. And I don't know which section they're coming from. Uh, but we're going to try to position ourselves a little bit. We're going to send one of you down here one on this side and one over here and then the rest of these guys can just move around and go to where we need them um you should be able to cover all of this we should be fine there everyone has assault rifles this is a really really good start guys this is very very good this makes it a lot easier all right we have an incoming transmission okay um and we did you some wrong okay okay so these are the raiders and it sounds like something is happening uh what's happening right there um they're surrounded and they need they need help holy crap why do you guys need help now why do you guys need help now we have to wait for the swarm to get here we i'm not leaving the base without taking care of this swarm that's coming that we just heard now they might be oh you know what uh oh this isn't good um let's send one of the groups over here in this building just in case if they're coming from a weird angle we don't want them um three of you in here you should be good and you i'm gonna put you like right here in this building just in case where's the horde oh here they come here they come here they come see this is the reason why i wanted to put them over here now all i have to do is tell you or you to come outside and you move right there come outside so now they're all gonna try oh wow 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 look at this guys so many of them coming in i don't think this one person is gonna be able to deal with it so and then they're gonna try to hit that building as well so i'm gonna tell somebody else to come in here you need to move up and you need to move you need to move up move up up you move up right there Okay, you, I might need you to come over here just so we could pull, who's out of ammo? You, oh my God, already. Okay, this is okay, this is okay. Um. Okay, you're moving in here. You were gonna take care of that, that's okay. You move on this side. We just have to keep an eye, we just have to keep an eye on them. Hold on, here we go, move you in. We just have to keep an eye on them. There we go. More, more and more infected coming in, guys. Oh, wow. All right. You should be able to take care of this group by yourself. Um, head. You head out right here. Hopefully. Oh, no, no, no. All right. They're dead. Okay, cool. Those guys over there are dead. I need to reload everyone. You can go here. Oh, nope. Don't move. Go there. Go there. You get back inside. And we should be able to take care of them. Very, very good. Everyone reload. Get in here. Reload. Get in here to reload. There we go. All right. Everyone is good. I think we should be fine now. That's the reason I didn't want to leave the base just before they came. Um, we're going to head over here to these guys to try and help them out. 
And we're going to send everyone because I think we need the extra firepower. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys jump in this building. All right. They came in, but we took them out. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Okay. Incoming transmission. All right, that's done. Um, we'll prevail. Now, did this bug out? Oh, they're scavenging the the, the freaking building. Come on, guys, don't scavenge it. Just go in. Right. Oh God, I think this bugged out, guys. I think this this thing bugged out because we're not doing that anymore. They should have joined us. I think we probably took too long. All right, right over there. Um, that's fine. Oh, it's it's a stormy day. So stormy day means that the horde. Oh boy, here they come. Get in here. 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 All right, there we go. Those guys are dead. Everyone move over here. I don't know why this bugged out. So this is one of the bugs that happens in the game. So we can't progress this quest because um, we probably should have finished that one first and then head over there. So I think both of them happened at the same time. So that is a bit unfortunate. Um, because we just had a horde night, I don't think that we're going to have another one. And research finished a long time ago and I, hasn't, I haven't done anything else. So let's start this one as well so that those guys can start working on that. Okay, this is all done. So we need to deconstruct another building. I wasn't paying attention to it. So now we need to deconstruct something else. Uh, this building might be a good candidate to deconstruct just so it'll free up a little bit of space. You're now done. Adaptation is finished. So we now have another warehouse. How much wood do we have? So getting that building means that we now extend our capacity up to 560. Uh, 5660. That's what that's 500. 5660. Uh, that's our capacity that we can hold now. So we're actually doing really good. Uh, we'll continue to deconstruct this. I don't think we need all the bricks that we have. We have only 74. It's not too bad. Hold on. Incoming transmission. Okay. Running into the tracks over here. That's okay. Roger that. Let's keep moving. It's now nighttime. Oop, 6 p.m. All right. We see that group down there. That's okay go in here okay we took the guy out unfortunately okay that's too bad we'll gather up some resources we'll finish scavenging this and then we'll head back so even with five people you see how slow this is going or it's spotted all right we probably need to take these guys out i don't like risking oh wow you guys are all full oh yeah that was perfect that's a ton of food all right Let's see. We want to pull them. Yep, we're pulling them to us. Head in here and we'll take them out. And then I know how you guys can make it back to the warehouse. There we go. We'll try to go back over here again just to see if we can get that finished. But I think it's because we went there at the same time when we were doing the other one. So that way everything kind of messed up. So we have 14 more days to go. Uh, we're an hour and 26 minutes in. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a little bit long. I might have to cut this video up in like little sections. And see we might do a part one and a part two for this one just so we have um everything okay and a new feature that we can do with this we can just come in here and just tell all squads to come back home come back to the base there we go all squads will come back to the base all right we are gonna need a ton of wood this is 132 wood if we wanted to upgrade oops survivors coming in okay so maybe we didn't need those guys after all all right so we got some survivors it's seven this is going to put us up to 50, 53. Okay, 53. There's another group right here of four. I might be able to grab those guys. I'll grab the rest of these guys and then that's it. I won't, I won't be pulling in any more people. Let's go. That's all the people that we're going to get. It's going to put up to, up to 57. That's it. All right, research is finished. We now have the weather building, so we can go ahead and build the weather building as well. But we want to make sure that we get this done. We're waiting on this. We have a ton more wood that we can get. I'm going to send more people over here to continue the scavenging. This way we have three and three. All right. We need we need more squads going out gathering food. Um, if we can increase the capacity, I might get two more squads and then that will put us up to eight. 
but we'll try to increase the capacity. If you if you extend your building, you would get more capacity. All right, we'll just continue fast forwarding. We're at day 12. Building is clear. Incoming transmission. All right, they're seeing more zombies being understood. Understood. Watch yourself. I don't know what these guys are picking up, man. It must be a ton of food because they're not picking up the resources that I thought they were picking up. Ooh, okay. Look at this, guys. So now we have raiders coming in. Um, these raiders have... Uh, there's two of them, and they have assault rifles. We should be able to deal with them with these. Um, I think we should be fine. We'll just leave it there. You'll come around. Come on, guys. Shoot. There we go. Now we got two more assault rifles. Oh, they got injured. What? How did you shoot them through the, the thing? Oh, well, thank you guys for your assault rifles. It was greatly appreciated. Now my group here has a full set of weapons, of good weapons. Now I don't have to worry about them. It's 8 a.m. incoming transmission. Okay. We have a problem. We're at 48 food, guys. We have a problem here. Because this is the army. The army's coming. I don't want to be too far away from the base. I don't want to be too far away from the base when this is happening. So we might just have two days worth of food that's left. We can't help you because we have to defeat them. We need fuel. Nope, we don't have enough. Okay. All right, guys. So we have to send all of these guys back. All right, cool. Sounds good. Oh, that's not good. They're coming. That is not good. We have them coming. What we want to do, we want to try to increase the size of this up to a little bit. Even if it gives us just a bit of a bit more squad number. All right, guys. So after upgrading, after upgrading our building. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. After upgrading the building, we can see that we have 10. Uh, we have 12 space for 12 squads. And we have 10 out of the 12, 10 out of the 12 squads. Send them over here. All right, we got an incoming transmission. All right, so anyone out there, infection is on a decline. Changes, what do you mean? Changes, uh, please respond. We'll send them in. We still have our this squad going out, collecting food. Uh, military should be coming here soon. Um, hopefully they arrive. We're still pulling things out of this. We upgraded this. We have only 10 out of 12 squads waiting for the military to come up. Keeping all of these guys at base. These guys are coming. The military still waiting. Oh, here they come. What I want to do, what I should have done, is actually send some of these guys over here. Let's grab who... All right, you guys are the squad that I want. I'm going to put you up here everybody else that's a part of oh, everybody else that's a part of another squad i'm gonna grab them All right i'm gonna grab these guys uh squad seven i'm gonna tell you to come over here as well i'm gonna throw you guys inside of this building right there go you are squad eight you're going on that side everybody else can come over here transmission is coming all right, military ride. Send them away. We don't have any. We don't have any resources to give them, so we have to send them away anyways. So sending these guys in here, these guys are on their way back. We only have 14 food left. These guys are on their way back. Unfortunately, I don't think that they're gonna be able to make it over here before everything kicks off. Now, what I'm gonna try to do, I'm putting all my guys right here, hoping that we can go ahead and take out one of these um, things first. Then once we take once once we take one out, I will just move this guy out of the building and you guys will see what happens. So as soon as we wait, let's see. Okay, no. Transmission is coming in. We're going to say we won't provide. They'll say so you won't share with us. We won't do that. Okay, pause. Let's grab. Let's close this out. Um, all right, let's do that. We'll come here. We'll grab Alpha, all of you guys, and squad seven. Everyone needs to attack that car first. Do not come out of the building. Let's just wipe this car out first. Okay, it's a very bad decision. 
bring it on. All right, let's continue. I'm keeping an eye on these guys over here. All right, that one is done. You guys can hold up and wait right there for now. Now we have to focus fire on this vehicle. It's with, with it only being one, it'll do some damage to the warehouse, but as soon as we see the warehouse going down, then we'll run these guys to continue to continue their attacks until we are completely out of ammo on this guy. All right? So let the shooting commence. We'll just keep an eye on this and just kind of watch it going down. Our people are just walking across while the shooting is happening. Once we probably get down to like a thousand, I will pull this guy out. We should be running out of ammo here shortly. All right, we're down to a thousand. You, I don't want that to get destroyed because then we're gonna have some problems. Um, you come here, just come out right here. Once you come outside, then he should be going for him. He's not, all right? So I'm gonna tell you to come down here. Uh, hopefully we don't get this destroyed. All right, we're out of ammo. Where are you going? No, nope, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No one moves. Okay, let's tell everyone, everyone in here, stay inside the building. Stay inside the building. Do not come out. Do not come out. Don't come out. Everyone stay inside the building. Keep shooting it. All right, we, we might have a problem here. We might, it might get destroyed because he's not moving towards this guy at all. Damn. Okay, where are you going? Okay, he's going over there to try and reach somebody else. All right, are you coming back? You're coming back. Okay, you're coming towards him. Move you back. I'll pull you back this way. Um, You can go inside now. All right. There we go. He's looking for him. Um, Now... All of you guys, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, all of you. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Once he gets inside, we will force him to come around the corner. So go in. All right, come here. You're going to come right here on this side. We lost the warehouse. So that's a problem because we lost that warehouse. Okay, no, stay right there. Come on, Dad. Stay right there. Okay, he's coming around. All of these guys are going to need to make a run for it really quickly to get inside of this building now. Um, what's the shortest distance? If I put you here, then you have to go up and over. We're waiting for you to come around, turn a corner. Okay, we're waiting for him to do that. You guys are still coming. I'm going to tell you to make a run for it up there. You're going to try to go around to try and shoot him. That's fine. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Go, go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. They're moving so slow. All right. Come on, guys. Don't get, don't die. All right. You come out here. Get in. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Wasn't watching what was happening here. Go inside. Get inside. Get inside. And then I need a squad. I need a squad. I need a squad. Squad seven. You can come out here. Get in. Okay. Squad seven. Squad seven. Get inside. I mean, you can, you guys can come over here. And at this point, it'll be okay. Um, let me see. Squad seven. If I move you here. And tell you, let's nope, I want you to come this way. Squad 7. Let's do that. You guys. Just go right there. And then you can stay right there as well. There we go. I will move you in. There we go. And I'll select you. And I'll tell you to move out. And we'll just continue doing that. Yes, this is kind of a cheese, but you know what? We need to be able to do this kind of stuff because these guys, this tank right here, man, it's freaking strong as hell. 
All right, so we'll wait for them to go a little bit further. We'll tell you to come out and we'll tell you to come back in. All right, now you're going to come down here. You're going to try to get him. Are you still shooting? They're still shooting at our people in here. That's not good. You... Um, wait for them to come down the corner a little bit more. I want him focused on the antenna and not shooting my people. Okay, let's get inside. Alright. They're shooting the antenna. Antenna, right? Yep, they're shooting the antenna. How are we doing? Everyone here is kind of injured. Ammo is being reloaded. Oh, man. 42 ammo. It's nighttime. Don't think we're going to be able to get these guys in, but that's okay. There's still two of them that's in there. Oh, the entrance is on the other side, isn't it? The entrance is on the other side. I would have hoped that I could force them to get out and that way we can shoot them from their back but that's not gonna work and they're gonna come in and they're gonna fuck us up all right we just have to hope that we keep our ammo up while we try to re oh you guys aren't shooting come on guys we need you guys over here shooting there we go that should hopefully you let it go down a little bit faster. Come on. Destroy them before we destroy our stuff. 6,000, 5,000, 4,000. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Speed it up. And we should... Got them. There we go. Woo! <laughs> let's go. There we go, guys. Oh my god, we got them. There's two inside of there. There's two outside. So I think we got an additional. I think we got some extra uh, weapons from this. We'll tell you guys to. Oh, man. We got to we gotta repair this. Hold on. Uh, repair that building. And then we got to tell these guys. We only have 11 food left, guys, which is ridiculous. That sounds like a horde. That sounds like a horde that's coming in. That's okay. We're going to come back here. And then we're going to come in. We're going to do the rest of these buildings. And we're going to do these smaller buildings here. Hoping that we can get all of this done. Hopefully the horde doesn't get here tonight. Because. Go. Oh. That's a horde. Okay. Not moving towards us. That's okay. Where was the horde when we needed them to come and help us? Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we just walked directly into the horde that was coming. That's so unfortunate. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do for these guys. To be honest, they're pretty... Oh, uh, you know what? That's going to save us on food. Get in. Get inside of this building. Go, 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 go. I mean, you guys got this. Fight, fight. Oh, save him, fight ends the call. Um, dang, should we run? No, let's do save him. Oh, gosh, guys. Oh, no. So we just lost that. That's that's crazy. Well, your people are already dead, sir. We know the horde is coming from over there. Oh, man. I wish I had knew. I wish I had known the horde was coming from on that side. That's so unfortunate. Get in. Get in this building. And hopefully everyone can get some experience here. All right. Where are these hordes? Here they are. They're coming in. We'll wipe them out now, guys. We'll get revenge for you. I promise. Oh, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh, an alpha male inside the building. Jesus. What the heck? We're at day 21 and we're starting to see alphas. Um, I'm just going to send ev everyone in here. Ooh, I think we took some damage. 
Ah, uh, we had to sacrifice two of our squads, unfortunately. Oh, man, now we're starving. Jesus. Okay, hold on a second, guys. I need to start sending people out for food. Oh, man, we only have one food. Okay, there we go. You guys are dead. We're at day 22. Let's do it. Day 22. Let's do it. We're on the move. Three food here. Got some. You're coming in. You're going to grab that. Then we're going to grab the rest of the food that's here. Four. You guys have a lot of food. Going there. 16 food. So we should be okay. All right. We should be good as long as these guys can make it back. Um, thank God for those warehouses. Two days to go, guys. Two days. Three days to go because we need to get to 25. So three days to go. Three more days. All right. Now we're talking with these guys. And I think with this, we can start going on um, expeditions outside of the outside of our starting squares. So every one of these you can go. You might collect a whole bunch of food, but we need vehicles for that. And we won't be able to use vehicles until day 25. But that's where we're going to wrap everything up. Three more days to go. You're finishing up. Hopefully we get this done. There we go. We don't need any more survivors. We're good. We have 14. We still need more food. I'm going to kit these guys out with all assault rifles. So I think we have more than enough assault rifles to be able to do this now. 16 food. The only way we can make this um, sustainable right now is if we start actually getting more food. 16 food in here. Having three people at home might be a little bit much. So I might send this group out once, once they kind of heal up. Okay, another transmission. Day 23, somebody there. Oop. All right, sounds like they're getting upset. Can't talk. All right, and hello. Aggressive. <laughs> All right, we'll switch. Okay, pause. How many AKs do you guys have? You guys have two AKs and two shotguns. These shotguns eat a lot of ammo. I really don't want to use them. Um, I don't know the difference, so I'm going to just give them pistols. Shotguns eat too much ammo. I'm going to put it here. We're just waiting for people to heal up. We still have our eight squads. We lost two, unfortunately. We have one and a half days left to go, guys. Okay, these guys are done. We're up to 11 food. So people are eating. People are eating. Um, I don't know why they stopped. We want to finish these things, guys. Come on. Finish off these buildings. Grab those. Then we'll start coming back over here and we'll clear out as many of these as we can. It's pretty much everything on this side. Then we have to find some more warehouses. Now, this map is not probably intended to play a long series through. All right, survivors. We just have to know that these uh, tonight, no. Um, we did lose some people, but we're not going to accept anyone else because we're running it. We're running out of food. So 59 people, that's what we're going to have to work with. Um... I might have to start sending these people back. There's nothing left. All right, these guys are just hanging around. They're not coming home. Search done. All right, now is when you want to move. We got food here. We're going to pick that up. We're going to pick up the rest of the food. And then we're going to tell everyone to return home. Um, all squads return home. Because now we're going to have the, the swarm that's coming. And remember, the swarm's coming from that other side. So we need to send some people out. We're going to send two squads out over here. And then we're going to send actually you out here. There we go. What I'll do is I'll send you in here. You on that side. Move, please. And then I'll just put you outside. We'll start wiping these guys out. Oh, shoot. You guys are out of ammo already. That's not good. Um... You need to come on this side. You need to come on this side as well. Okay, hold on. That alpha is trying to get us. We're going to... All right, there we go. Very good. <laughs> we have to pause and stop, pause and stop. You guys are out of ammo. That's how quickly we run out of ammo with these assault rifles, man. So quick. So one more day and we'll finish this challenge. We're going to grab that gun. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to clear out the rest of these. And then we will call this an episode. There we go. You guys go. Uh, we still have three groups back at the base. This is squad eight. You guys have two AKs. You guys have two AKs. You're Fox. You're squad seven. Oh, incoming transmission. 
Okay, saw something grizzly. You guys are eating your own people. Um, try to kill him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we, we got it. You guys are good. Go ahead. Finish scavenging these buildings. And then we have some more warehouses over here that we can do. Oh, there's a police station here. I missed it. Oh, wow. How did I miss that? Okay, we have some bigger buildings here. So we might be able to find some more stuff. Um, at day 25, we should be able to start getting using the vehicles, if that's the case. But as it stands right now, guys, we have gone ahead and completed this challenge. Just like that. It was that easy. Um, <laughs> we did lose um, eight people. Uh, maybe nine people, I think, in total uh, from all the attacks. But you know what? It was worth it. It was an accident. I didn't look where the swarm was coming from. But we survived 20 four days currently about to be 25 everyone we did run out of food at one point but it's okay surviving for 50 days on this map without food though this might be without um farming or anything this might be a lot of a little bit of a challenge to do uh it's still possible maybe <laughs> maybe i don't think so because we have to scavenge so much I and mean, we we're getting more and more people the more people we get the less food that we'll have i can actually go ahead and tell this building we're going to turn this building right here into a weather station um just so if we continue playing we'll know hey here we go you're a weather station and then this building here might be like an elementary school a, a kindergarten i don't know what it needs or what it does but we'll build it just for the heck of it and we'll send everyone out to, what's the transmission say to anyone who survived the infection decline, leave your shelters and help us make the world habitable again. Help us to reclaim the earth. Um, hello? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, good to hear you. Okay. All right. This is the first time I'm seeing this and we're at day 25, guys. So this is a good place to wrap this up. Uh, the pleasure is mine. It's good to hear that our message has reached somebody. Why do you transmit the trans, uh, the transmission change? Who are you? Why no answer before? Uh, why no answer before? The message was automated and we had okay um the transmission changed uh because it's high time we moved on okay uh why do you transmit okay we've been on the surface since the very beginning um is it better now uh how much still far from perfect but it's better who are you okay we'll ask all these questions um what's your plan uh, we want to save all living beings okay interesting we want to save all living beings we can't tell you more now the radio is not safe and there are people trying to interfere but we can send a team to meet you and give more information about it personally where are you located who wants to stop you not everybody wants the group would be believing okay interesting your location first tell me where you are first i'm sorry but it's mutual Okay. Um, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We're not going to just give you our location and then try to find. But yeah, guys, there we go. We're at day 25 and we have now officially gone ahead and cleared off everything, guys. Absolutely. This was fun. Really fun. It took a very long time. It took about three hours to actually get all of this done. This it might be a two-part series, part one and part two, just to make sure that we get everything done. But hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And remember, guys, if you guys do want to see a continuation and see where the story goes, drop a like on the video and leave a comment in the comment section below. And with that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.